it's apostolicus. Is your claim that the defendant, who was a neighbor of yours with some property at Veeding, has a couple of dogs that got out of his property, got onto your property, and on your property, you had created some houses in the backyard to house feral cats? Yes. And am I correct that at that time you had in excess of 14 cats? Yes. How many did you have? Those are ones that I had in cages. I have about four cages. Cages that keep what? That are houses for the kitty cats. Can the cats get out? No. It's outside. They have houses in there, cat trees, beds, but they're, it's built outside. But most of those cats that are outside are mm -hmm. feral cats. Not after I have them for a while and I get them either neutered or spayed. Okay. So what you do is, when they come in because you feed them, are you able to catch them yourself? They're usually kittens. Okay, so you take them in as kittens and you have them spayed or neutered. Yes. Who does that for you? My vet. And you pay for that? I have actually gotten some vouchers from San Bernardino County. They'll give you like $25 because it's really trying to help the, the cat, cat population. cat population. I got them. So you get them as kittens? Yes. From where? My barn. I have a barn. People leave their cats. They have babies. And usually the mama cats leave the babies about six weeks. Okay. So tell me, how many cats do you have in the yard at any one time? There was 18 before. Okay. It is your claim that the defendant's dogs got out of his property, came on your property, and killed five of the cats? Three, Three were mine. Two were feral cats out at the barn that... I didn't know they were there. When you say three were yours, three were cats that had been feral cats, but that you had had spayed yes. or neutered, and they were in this enclosure. Yes. Okay. And what kind of dogs did you have, sir? Uh, Rottweiler and two pit bulls. Do you still have them? No. When did you get rid of them? I got rid of them the day that animal control came over. Animal control came over because of the incident with the cats? Yes. Okay. On what date was that? Uh, it was... 42816. Can you tell me why we're here two years later? Well, for one reason, I could not get a report from animal control. This happened in April. I got the, uh, the report in, in November. November. Okay. Uh -huh. So November is still two years ago. Where have you been for two years? Well, I had to send him a demand letter, and then I a worked. A demand letter for what? You have to send a demand letter to them before you can file small claims. Okay, I'd like to see first the report and then the demand letter. From the animal control? First the report from animal control that you were waiting for, and then a copy of the demand letter. This is a copy because he didn't pick it up when I mailed it. So you relinquished all your dogs to animal control? Yes. Okay. How long had you had them? I had them for years. I had them ever since they were puppies. you have pictures of the shed? Yes. I'd like to take a look at it. Was this the first time your dogs got off your property, Mr. Walker? They had um, been off the property before, uh, but not to my knowledge. I've never seen my, pro my dogs leave the property I, animal control had given my dad a fine years ago for them getting out, but I'd never uh, seen them personally get out of the yard. Every time I was in my yard, my dogs were always home. So I never actually physically saw my dogs leave. These are powerful dogs. <laughs> Did you ever try, Mr. Walker, to discuss with the plaintiff the damages she is claiming as a result of... This is the first time I heard about it until now. Um, I never received a letter or anything. I never received anything about no, this. No, well, you, all, you spoke to people immediately after the incident. Did they not speak to you, or they, did they speak to your father? They spoke to me about the incident with the with Immediately the dog. thereafter, yeah. in 2016. I see they interviewed you.